Nets head coach Jacques Vaughn threw double teams at Joel Embiid all day long in game one. Held him seven points below his average of 33 points a game. But the Sixers hit a franchise record 21 threes and Brooklyn gave up 31 points off turnovers in a 20 point loss. On Monday night, Vaughn doubled down on those double teams as the Nets tried to tie the series and snap a seven game playoff losing streak. We head to Philadelphia, one of Chuck's homes yes. uh, for the highlights. Yes. Mikel Bridges had 30 in the opener in a losing effort. James Harden had seven threes out of that uh, franchise record 21. And Joel, of course, facing all those double teams. And it was the same deal tonight, Shaq. Yeah, it was the same deal tonight. And, you know, he, he, he does the right thing. He doesn't try to fight through it and give, give it to his guys. They didn't make him look good in the first half, but in the second half, they picked it up for him, especially Max. It's a kind of respect in a W. Only eight points on two of five shooting in the first half. He did have 15 rebounds. Cam Johnson. And Brooklyn was hitting their shots in the first half. Yeah. And this was so smooth. In the first half. In the first half. Yeah, in the first half, he had, uh, he had 20. Oh, what's it? Nine of five. Oh, he has, he has that. Has he has he. 49-44. Brooklyn at the break. Brooklyn. Zip. But then the Nets score 14 points. Oh, the my gosh. Court. Come on. What kind of pass Hell? was that? Tobias Harris ahead Jeez. of the pack. Jeez. And then Embiid weaving his way to the hoop. His first bucket since 335 in the first quarter. Tyrese Maxey was the story. Yes. What is it, 31 already? Uh, it was close to 31. It was actually 33. 30, okay. Yeah, six out of 13 from deep. Harden connects from deep. I don't understand this double thing because it's just, just shoot around jump shots. Yeah, however, they, they stayed in the game much longer doing that. If they don't double Joel and B, they'll oh. go about 30. Well, they didn't win. At least they stayed in the game. It was, it was oh, somewhat well, you successful. want a cookie? Yeah. yeah. Maxi. I want a chance to win. I don't Again. want a chance to lose. When you lose yeah. by 12, you didn't have a chance to win. Yeah, you did. Yeah, oh. you did. Embiid. He finished with 20, 19, See? and 7. Anytime they didn't double. Let's six of, a six of a lemon. Lemon. I don't mind him making that shot right there. Just shake his hand. 94, 96 to 84 is your final score. Uh, first time all year the Sixers have won a game when they scored under 100 points. They're one and six now, and that's eight straight losses for Brooklyn in the postseason. You know what I need right now? Well, yeah, I, yeah. I need to see and hear from uh, from Stephanie Reddy. <laughs> The Brooklyn Nets tweaked their in-game strategy for Game 2, resulting in a five-point halftime lead. While Doc Rivers implored his players to trust their original game plan from Game 1, and that resulted in a third-quarter win, keeping the lead for the remainder. We got outside of ourselves in the first half. I thought that we were forcing it. We were trying, you know, nothing selfish, but we were trying to score, all of us. But this is what playoffs are about. It's going to test your trust at times. and. So that was an early test for us, and, and we came through. Last game where they had 19 more shots than us, and today is even. So I think that's progress from our group. Uh, we just got to do it for four quarters, Brian. We did it for two, my man. We're going to do it for four. Do we need some other people to step up at home? Yes, we do. Well, I'll take Evan. I'll take all of them. Anyone you want to sign up, put them on a list. I'll check that thing off. We need everybody to show up and be ready to play. What did you make of the physical nature of this, of this game? You know, I used to play basketball, right? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. You know, the first time out, I actually said, hey, guys, you can see how the game's going to be called. Uh, it's going to be a physical game. And then Sam, when we walked out, said, you should be ashamed of yourself for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could see you nodding and you nodding right. when, uh, when Sam when, I when am Doc Sam was saying Sam. that too. Yeah. I like that, Sam. Yeah. It, you know, I, 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 I hate the Sixers came out with low energy. Uh, you need to when you, you don't want to give a team hope. You, we got the best team. They in our building. Let's just stomp them. Don't give them confidence because Brooklyn know they're not going to win the series. But you never want to give them hope. But also, you want to get these games over as soon as possible. Because the one thing, like I said, I said it earlier, we had two major injuries. You just don't want to take any chances. So get these games over as quickly as possible. Get yourself plenty of rest. That's the main thing. Yeah, I was just, I was curious, and I think we touched on this earlier. They doubled and beat all the time in the first half of that game. 
They've got the lead at the break. Third quarter, they went away from that. And, and I wondered why. I, I mean, is, is, they, is, is this one of these where one coach were. says they're going to make an adjustment to this, so we're going to go away from I didn't, I just, I didn't really follow they were, why that was. They were less aggressive. Uh, first half on the touch, they were double. Second half, they wait till he got into his move to double, and then, you know, Philly just got hot the second half. But you know, I think what Brooklyn needs to do. Now everyone talks about making adjustments after the game. Sometimes as a player, you got to make in-game adjustments. Like I play with a lot of shooters. The shot don't go. D. Scott can miss two shots. He's gonna put his head down, get to the line, go to the free throw, step back out. I play with Glenn Rice. So you know, I play with a, you know, B. Shaw, a big shot Bob. So Brooklyn just. First half, it felt good, it looked good. In the second half, they just kept shooting. But you have to make in-game adjustments. If your shot ain't falling, you know, you definitely got to do something else. Yeah, I think overall, you, Ernie, your point was, is pretty valid because it was, it's, maybe it's not a successful, you know, we, we, first of all, let's start here. Brooklyn's under man playing against Philadelphia. Sure. They're young, trade in the middle of the season. They're, they're trying to figure things out. They did have a shot to stay in the game. And then anything could happen. You know, that's what you want to do. They were in the game. And that's, defensively. That's kind of like what Jacques Baum right. was talking about. Hey, you're like, yeah. For we were in the that, game. I, I don't personally. But, go ahead, Kenny. Yeah, but, I, but I, I, thought, I thought at one time he got a little too tricky. He was like, okay, let's take it off for a second. Bring it back. Tuck it off. Joel Embiid, uh, Charles said, you'd have to shake his hand if he makes a shot like that. You know what you'd be doing all night? Yeah. Because he will make tough shots. The guy's the leading scorer in the NBA because he's not just make open shots. He makes tough shots. Back-to-back, uh, -back, you know, the first guy to do it since uh, Bob McAdoo. So, as a center position. So, he <coughs> is – no, you didn't, you didn't go back-to-back, chat. Back-to-back what? Scoring champs. Yeah, yeah. No, you did not. Bob McAdoo was the last guy to do it. Well, I got one, right? You got one. Yeah, one is not two, boo. It don't matter. You, one does not qualify as back-to-back. Back. Back back. Hey, you mentioned my name. My name. <laughs> I'm not mentioning everybody who won a scoring no, no, champ. No, 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 I'm only no. mentioning back-to-back. Hey, man, mention my name or else. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mention hey, my hey, name. Chase me. Yeah, just hey, chase back to chase back. me around. I, 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 I didn't like the strategy, Ernie, either game, to be honest with you, because in game one, they've just made shots. In the first half, they didn't make any shots. Second half, they made shots. What I, would be your strategy I, if, if against I, Joel and B yeah, in, the, in the Philadelphia? Well, I would either make go, score 50 I, a night. I, I would either go to a zone, late, late. But I'm gonna make Joel get me 50. This is what right. I would do. Two things. I would let him go one on one on the other end and get 50. But on the other end, I'm putting him in the pick and roll every single time because he's gonna have to work hard to get those 50. And I'm gonna make him play that pick and roll. If you go back and look at the first half of the game, that's when he had success, putting him in the pick and roll. That's because every time Cam came off or Mikael, they were wide up because Joel, go, he goes backwards like all big men do. So that's how they get off to a good start. So I'm going to let him go one-on-one. -on -one, and if he, and he first of all, he's going to get 35 anyway. Right, but, so that's my point. Yeah, but, he, a guy who averaged 35, Chuck, getting 50 is only 10, I, 10, 10 points I know more. that, but it's 10, not, but, 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 but it won't. But see, that's the, that's the key. I don't – Maxie's getting – those guys are getting shoot-around jump shots. They missed them early. They made them in game one and set a record. They missed some today, but then in the second half they got going. I don't want Maxie, Harden, Tobias Harris. They're not even shooting tough jumpers. They're shooting wide-open jumpers. And they, you go – at some point you're going to start making some, and that was the difference in the game in my opinion. Game three is Thursday night in Brooklyn on TNT. By the way, teams that are up 2-0 in a best of seven, 308 and 26. That is a winning percentage of 90%. Did you 90? know that, or did Underdog tell you that? Underdog told me that. Are you, are I know how you're many not... centers won back to back scoring time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, including Shaq? Okay, just check it. I, w I got one. <laughs> yeah, that's not two, that's not back to back. <laughs>